Okay, so this is our both weekly and daily cycle analysis for CL. Let's go ahead and pull up the weekly time frame. On the intermediate term, we saw this in many markets. Obviously, it is more muted in CL, but uh, this is where you have to be so careful. Generally speaking, it is not advantageous to try to short into the bottom. What I uh, what do I mean by that? Meaning you see a pop, then you see a sell that goes from the top all the way down to that old swing low. That's a very visual reference. You, you just got to be aware of these things. What would get a trader in trouble is if they are, you know, having fresh shorts closer to these, you know, lower ends of ranges, right? That's a higher risk setup because it is is either going to sell off and fall through or it's going to give a false breakdown and turn up and that is a wonderful counter trend long because it'll catch people off guard we saw that in so many markets and we're seeing that here in obviously a more mild fashion in cl but be very careful about your trade location trade location is everything if if you don't have a good trade location you will take more heat on your trades and you will have overall a far worse average win average loss over time, all else being equal. So trade location is paramount. And really knowing where have you come from will give you, I would say, a good tell for what is likely to happen as you test important cycle lows or cycle highs. In this case, we literally went straight down from a high to a key swing low. We saw this in several markets. We looked below this old low, failed, and then we got a slingshot back up. This is a long. This is why I posted this in the Tradius feed, indicating it was a very interesting long because of this quick move down into the low. It caught everyone off guard. And then obviously we had a very um, fast move back up. That is really how that should trade. So very important, always be aware of your trade location. Are you in a higher risk, short or long? And you will know that based on where the underlying has been, based on the overall behavior into that key reference point. Just keep all that in mind. It'll really help you to improve your entries. Uh, there is a trough here that is due 11.18 to right around 1.6. On the daily chart, this was that trade long. You can see it right here. We got back to the low here on CL and did not get it. And then, bam, it got that sharp move back up. This was that that uh, false low. We see this a lot for those who have been watching us for a while. This was the final false rally right there. And then you got a swift low. When we started seeing these hammers here, and then this bar right here gave you that sign that, Okay, this is on back to the upside. This is this is the game that is is being played. It is a trap for a quick short cover back up, and that's exactly what happened. You can see sharp move down, sharp move up. Where have we come from? What are the highest probabilities in terms of that trap? In this case, short, and what would be the core targets? It would be back up here towards 78 to 7960s. So that's what I'm saying. At this point, we are likely still to grind a little bit higher, but the best opportunities are now behind us, in my opinion, here in CL. But this is a pattern that you'll see over and over again. Again, swift move down, looked at the low, couldn't get anywhere, and then a slingshot back up.